What's up guys, Odov here. In this video, we'll continue exploring Say ecosystem on the testnet. And we just got our first function in NFC marketplace. At least I think it's the first one. It's called Dagora. It's relatively unknown. If you check their following, they have just a couple thousand uh, people on Discord, on Twitter. They are functioning on main nets of Polygon and Binance, I think. And just recently they arrived on say testnet as always links gonna be in description but keep in mind that information provided as is so follow at your own risk in order to interact with the marketplace we need to install the coin 98 wallet because your kepler or your leap is not supported i don't know if that's going to be supported in the future currently only coin 98 works you don't need to create a new wallet you can just import your existing uh, say testnet wallet into it you can download it for chrome browser and the process is pretty simple uh, you create the password you import your wallet you select the chains and you're done you can start using that so for me for example i imported my kepler wallet here as for activities the launch part is currently empty i think it's going to become functional later we can create the nft uh, from any picture but i tried to do it yesterday it didn't work so let's just see if that works today here you can select the gas i'll do the maximum yeah we get an error i don't know you can keep trying but i think if it doesn't go through better just wait a couple of days but we can go explore the nfts and buy and sell here in this collection you can see the nfts minted by users you can also sort that uh, from low to high but as you can see there are also errors like undefined and also if you try to buy that you're not going to be successful you're probably going to get an error so again depending on when you watch this video this will be probably fixed for now i'll just try to buy anything it seems like because mint function is not working prices are pretty high and you don't get much stock here i'll just try to buy that one 4.35 Add to cart, it's added. I also tested it yesterday. This function wor works fine. Now it says failed. Try to buy this boy, maybe. Let's try. Yeah, this one, this one worked fine. Now you can go to my NFTs. Yeah, for some reason it shows me the NFTs that I already sold. I bought this one yesterday and I sold it. And I don't see the NFT that I just bought. And refreshing doesn't help. Hmm. I'll try to disconnect the wallet and reconnect it. Maybe that will help. I'll try to refresh. Oh, there you go. That helped somehow. So, wait, wait, did I do that. So I turned that off. I turned say testnet off. And now it started showing. I don't know, or maybe it was just delayed or cached. I have no idea. I'm gonna list this single payment let's do 0.7 for now confirm oddly enough here you don't need to sign messages for the approval it's just like one click operation now we can see that this nft is owned by us and it's listed and you can cancel you also see stats offers info again a because it's a test net uh b the say test net itself is not uh, working that great now you can encounter some errors and if you do you can just come back later i'm just showing you the application that is functional 
on the say testnet and you can also incorporate that in your airdrop strategy and on top of that we may be getting some benefits from the marketplace itself in the future so be sure to join that twitter that discord stay informed and one more thing about say faucets are really working bad now so there is actually the community faucet created by the member of the discord where you can also request 0.1 say or 50 usdc the period i think has been set now for 24 hours again this is not an official link so be careful right now there's pretty much uh, nothing to be afraid because you're not even connecting your wallet you're passing capture you put in your say address and you click the button you're done but nevertheless, always think for yourself, always check that there are no viruses and stuff like that. Regarding faucets, it's just becoming increasingly worse because official faucet doesn't work 90% of the time. USDC faucet has been uh, shut down for like a week now and I don't know if and when they're going to reopen it. And the faucet on Eclipse, I mean it's still 1000 Eclipse tokens uh, per day per wallet, but the exchange rate on SparrowSwap has been going down for that. So yeah, we can get less and less say daily. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you soon.